Hello, my name is Brian Hendrickson and I'm an audio engineer for KS Audio. We're here today to demonstrate to you the KS Audio Auto Curve, the world's only self-curving line array. The Auto Curve combines a combination of mechanical and acoustic curving. Let's take a look at how this product works. For this demonstration, we've decided to use three CPD line boxes. In a real production situation, you can use up to 12 CPD line boxes per hang to be controlled by the controlling software. It's very simple how it works. There's a screw-driven servo motor here, which changes the angle physically of the box. The box is also able to be controlled via these buttons on the rear panel as well as from the controlling software. The inputs are analog or AES EBU and the box automatically detects which is plugged in and chooses the correct format. Uh, we have our standard T100 base Ethernet jacks for connection with a standard CAT5E cable. Our PowerCon jumpers and inputs for the power to the unit. You simply pin it to the fly bar pin the array as many pieces as dedicated for this particular production hang and go. Included with the CPD line are two proprietary software programs from KS Audio for setting the correct angles of the boxes. In the first software you enter the dimensions of the room and any balconies or upper areas of your arena that you may have as well as the amount of CPD line pieces that you have and your hang and the software will suggest angles for that correct coverage as well as a visual display of what the dispersion is for those suggested angles you can accept those angles and simply hit the go button and the auto curve sets itself for the suggested angles if at any time you decide you would like to change those angles you can go into the second software program and do so before we talked about two proprietary software programs included with the CPD line. The first in which the software suggests the angles to calculate for the room's correct coverage. Here's an example of the second software which most likely you will use more often. As you can see here on the screen, for this demonstration purpose we have used only three CPD line boxes. Uh, where they are highlighted in green, you see that there is a network connection established between the CPD line box and the laptop with the controlling software. For this demonstration, we're going to enter some angles that most likely would not be used just to show you the versatility and how uh, much diversity you have in setting the angles of the CPD line box. You simply go with your mouse to the first program enter in your numeric value for our first box we'll do 1.3 degrees for our second box 2.7 degrees and for our third CPD line box 5 degrees we come over here and enable communication between the software and the CPD line box and simply hit go As you can see on the right hand side of the display, the software gives a real time display of what the curvature is of the box as it changes. On the back of each CPD line box there is a digital display showing you the angles in whole degrees on the left and in tenths of degree on the right. 
Again, we're going to go with our settings of 1.3 degrees for the top box, 2.7 degrees for the middle box, and 5 degrees for the bottom box. It is good to note that the noise from the servo motors while the camera is directly beside the box may seem a bit loud, but when the boxes are flown to trim height and program is going through the boxes, you will never actually hear the changing of the auto curve. We've just looked at the physics of the mechanical side of the CTB line and now we're going to talk about the sound application. When you enter the numeric values into the software and hit the go button, as the CTB line changes the angles to the values that you've entered, the software calculates phase and frequency response and makes those changes in real time. You can hear these changes on the floor as the CTB line changes the curvature. Once you've seen and heard the changes made from the original settings on the CPD line, if you decide you would like to go further in and make additional changes, it's quite simple. Every CPD line box is assigned its own individual IP address, allowing the software to give you access to change a variety of parameters such as high shelving, low shelving, gains, delay times, and a variety of equalization settings. The beauty of this innovative design is that once the CPD line is flown in the air with your wireless laptop out into the middle of the listening area, you can make these changes in real time. And not only can you make these changes in real time, but you can hear the results in real time. Say you have a situation with a fixed installation. Your line array is flown. On this particular evening, only your first floor of your arena is sold out. Yet you may have your line array tuned to cover balconies one and two. In a situation like this, a lot of energy is being wasted in areas where there are no listeners. With a CPD line, you simply get out your wireless laptop, go into the software, and change the curvature to focus that energy where your listeners are so that there is zero wasted energy from your line array. If you like these settings, it's very easy to go into the laptop and store several in a file folder inside of the uh, CPD line software folder. For live situations with the CPD line, you simply roll the cases up and fly them straight into the air right out of the box. Then you take your wireless laptop and go down on the floor and during sound check, choose the angles and equalization that you need for the correct sound and coverage for your venue. Once your performance is started, should you need to make any adjustments based on attendance or coverage, you simply get your laptop out, go back into the software, and make those changes for sound and physical hanging in real time via the software. 